since obviously the days of Nostradamus, there's been many people who've tried to foresee the future. Uh, Carl, I'm not sure if you're familiar, but there's endless um, you know, predictions. Apparently there are other planets that may collide with ours. You know, there's some scientific basis on this. But if you knew with certainty that today was the end of the world, how, how would you spend that final day? So, for instance, I've always wanted to smash up a bar. Do you know what I mean? It's strange, strange, but I've always wanted the exhilaration of just smashing all those bottles, like you see in a film. But would you enjoy it as much, knowing that you're going to die in eight hours? I don't know, I suppose it's the sense of abandon, you know? I mean, maybe I'd murder a person. You know, wow. just see, you know, I don't know, but I think I'd probably go mental. Because that's Because I've always been a very reserved person, you know? I've always... I've never got into a fight, never caused a rumpus. Yeah, but that's a worrying thought, because... Um, we, we don't have to have the end of the world for it to be the end of your world, because a lot of people know that they're terminally ill, so mm. they don't go around smashing up bars and killing people. But I suppose I know there'll be no repercussions ultimately, because the next anyway. day everyone's gone, yeah, so there's so, not going to be mourning families. But, but, then, uh, but then how dare you deprive that person of his last eight hours or ten hours of life? Um, I don't care, because it's the last day on Earth. What would you do? I've always wanted to kick a duck up the arse. <laughs> 